here's what we all have in common. It isn't partisanship, it's citizenship. Every single day we wake up and we're not thinking who gets credit or who gets blame. We're not looking at a situation and thinking what could go wrong. We're looking at an opportunity and thinking what could go right. Since this... Since this announcement has been made, the two big developments that have happened have been the expansion of scope of the FOSCON project beyond what people were initially talking about in the deal. There was the purchase of initial land uh, down uh, in uh, Mount Pleasant. Why do people, uh, when they're uh, moving a headquarters here, buy additional land? Put it this way, it's not bad news, it's good news. They want to, they see more opportunity, not what could go wrong, what could go right. And today, we're talking about the purchase, not the lease, but the purchase of a significant downtown Milwaukee building. Uh, Foxconn is putting a stake in the ground. Welcome to the ever-growing footprint of Wisconsin Valley. That's really what we're celebrating here today. With, with this new headquarters just down the way, almost with an eye shot around the corner there, we see the ever-growing footprint of Wisconsin Valley in this state and we see what we like to call uh, the Foxconn bonus. Because last summer, almost every one of you here and many others joined us just down the way at the, uh, at the Calatrava Designed Art Museum as we celebrated with Terry Goh, the chairman of Foxconn, and Lewis and Alan and the rest of the team, many of whom are here today, celebrated with us from across the political spectrum, from all ends of southeastern Wisconsin. We celebrated this really historic announcement historic in terms of the largest economic development project in the history of the state of Wisconsin, and quite arguably one of the largest in the history of America. That of all the places in the world, the Foxconn could introduce this new 8K technology to build LCD panels for the first time to be making them here in America and proudly in the United States, but even more proudly here in the state of Wisconsin. I think this idea of uh, Wisconsin Valley, its footprint growing and including Milwaukee, not just downtown, but I think in the new future, we're gonna hear about even more exciting things about growing the opportunities uh, for people to work and be connected and expand. And we're gonna see that footprint grow and grow and grow and grow and grow.